So what's the difference between an S-shot and a flex shot? I mean, they both perform that beautiful S-type shot that we're all looking for on the disc golf course. So does that mean that they're the same? I've often found myself confusing other people by saying S-shot and flex shot. And I've also seen other people have the same problem as well. So I know it's a problem in the disc golf community. And today on Just Disc, I'm going to help clarify that for you. So let's get into it. First, let's start off with the flex shot. Now, a flex shot is when the disc is released on an Antheiser angle with an overstable disc. The disc then travels from left to right to begin, but then the overstability of the disc turns the disc back to the left. And what do I mean by overstability? Well, I mean the strength of fade, the strength of the disc wanting to turn back to the left. Therefore, to perform a flex shot, the disc selection is extremely important. You need a disc that wants to fade to the left. So a disc with a higher amount of fade, like a destroyer or a boss, is definitely going to be easier to perform that beautiful flex shot. Now this is a very common type of shot that a lot of pros use because it allows them to, first of all, be aggressive, throw the disc hard, but it also allows them to get maximum distance out of their disc because one, they're throwing it hard, but two, the disc wants to fight out, allowing for more time in the air, which then gives them more distance. Now an S shot when thrown right hand back in is when an understable disc is thrown flat and it then naturally turns over to the right side and slowly but surely fades back to the left if there's enough time but it's not as big of a fade as a flex shot. Therefore, you don't have to force the disc over. You don't have to release it on an Anheuser angle. It should just do it naturally if thrown flat. So if you want to do an S shot, you would definitely need a more understable disc. So a disc with less fade and perhaps more turn. So something like a Sidewinder, a Mystere, a Mako 3, a Wombat, all those discs are going to be useful for doing that S type shot. So a big question might be, you know, when do you use a flex shot or when do you use an S shot? Beginners and pros use both types. It just depends on the hole and the shot that is required. But an example might be, you know, a flex shot. You may want to use that shot when you want to throw the disc hard, you want to get a lot of distance, but you still want that control and you do not want the disc to hold its turn to the right so that it goes out of bounds. That may be an instance where you want to use a flex. An S shot might be when you want it to come a little bit more to the right and hold to the right a little bit longer, but still have a bit of fade back to the left. Or perhaps you just want to throw the disc a little slower that day, but you still want distance. An S shot is a good type of shot to go for, but remember you do need an understable disc. All right, so I hope that helps clarify a few things for you if you were confused when you hear flex and S-type shot, or perhaps you didn't know that there was a difference between the two. Hope you learned something. See you guys in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.